evaluates the integral of sine to the fifth 3x cosine to the fourth 3x dx. Let's start by prepping this integral. We have the indefinite integral of the quantity sine of 3x raised to the fifth power times the cosine of 3x quantity to the fourth power. Now note that this is a product integral of sines and cosines, so we want to use a substitution. There's two things to try. We used sine last time, so let's give cosine a try this time. And we'll let u be cosine of 3x. Then the derivative is going to be negative sine of blank times the derivative of blank. The blank is 3x, its derivative is 3. If we multiply through by dx and clean up, we're going to have du is equal to negative 3 times the sine of 3x dx. We can divide both sides by negative 3, and we'll have negative 1 third du is sine of 3x dx. And that's the differential we need to fit. Uh, and clearly it does fit. We've got a plethora of sines. Let's go and rewrite this integral to make this more obvious. If I take one of these sine 3x's out to the side here, we'll have a sine of 3x dx. That's going to leave a sine of 3x to the fourth power, since we pulled one out as leftovers. And then the cosine of 3x to the fourth remains unchanged. Alrighty. Now this piece right here is the differential that we fitted. So we'll replace that with a negative one third du. Uh, these cosines can be replaced with just u, so we'll have a u to the fourth. And then finally, we've got to get rid of the leftover sines. Now remember that the sine of any argument theta squared plus the cosine of that argument squared is equal to 1. This means that sine of theta quantity squared is always 1 minus the cosine of that quantity squared. So this expression being sine to the fourth is really 1 minus cosine of theta squared, or 3x squared, quantity squared. That would give me a sine to the fourth. Now I can finish the substitution. We'll have a 1 minus u squared quantity squared, and this is the integral. If we clean it up, this is the integral of negative 1 third u to the fourth times 1 minus u squared quantity squared du. This is something that we can expand. We can foil out this interior part and distribute through, so let's just run it through. Uh, we're going to have an integral, oops, got ahead of myself there, the integral of 1 third u to the fourth, expanding this as 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times u squared plus u squared squared du. All right, now we're going to need some room, so let's move stuff up to the top and continue on with our substitution. Uh, now we can distribute in, so if we distribute through, we're going to have a 1 third u to the fourth minus a 2 thirds u to the sixth plus a 1 third u to the eighth. Each one of these is a power function, so we can just integrate them term by term. So the 1 -third comes along for the ride, and we're going to get here a 1 -fifth u to the 5th. Next we'll have a negative 2 thirds and a 1 -seventh u to the 7th. And then finally a 1 -third, 1 -ninth u to the 9th. At this point we can clean up and back substitute. So we're going to get a grand total of 1 15th u, which is cosine of 3x, quantity to the 5th, minus 2 over 21 times cosine of 3x quantity to the seventh plus 1 over 27 cosine of 3x to the ninth power. Add an integration constant and that's all of the ones we've got and this is a little bit more than I want to simplify so let's just call it quits with this formula right here.